hello friends welcome to selenium tutorial and uh, this is video 12 of this selenium video tutorial series in this video i will talk about various locator strategy for selenium web driver in my previous tutorials i talked about uh, how to uh, inspect elements in mozilla firefox google chrome ie today i'll talk about various locator strategies in selenium web driver so you can find all tutorials on my blog testautomator.in here you can go to selenium selenium web driver and you will find all video tutorials and text tutorials text articles here for regarding selenium then i have apache poi then automation frameworks test ng log 4j jenkins everything if you want anything just drop me a comment i'll try to cover it okay coming to a topic various locator strategy in selenium web driver right so let me go to eclipse and in eclipse let me show you okay sample class <coughs> okay so so while defining so while defining a driver what do we use we use web driver driver is equal to new firefox driver for mozilla firefox now my driver is defined now by using the driver i need to navigate to the url so i will use driver dot navigate dot to and your url over here right you can name your url over here then once you are once you are navigated to your url let us say you are navigated to this page now this particular page and i want to click on this selenium tutorial let us say i want to click on this selenium tutorial then what i need i want to find out the uh, what you can say uh, inner element or unique element or a <laughs> web element of this particular field let us say for tosca tutorial i want to click then for this to tosca tutorials i i may find out its x path for a for a for getting unique web element or i can get a css path or i can find it by using some other locators right so that's what we will see now what and all locators we have so if you do driver then we will find the element we will find the element by using that is driver dot find element by now you can see there are various things there are various things that is class name css id link test name this 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 so we have class name then we have we can find out the unique ele web element by using class name or we can find it by using css selector or by using id or by using link text or by name partial text tag name and xpath <laughs> right so let us say just click on this and inspect it with firebug now you can see this particular page <coughs> okay so this particular uh, field tusca tutorial has a tag name li right it has id is equal to this id for this tag name uh, for this tusca tutorial is this menu item 50 then it has a class this then it has a link this then it has a span nothing and this is a actual text on the tosca tutorial this page now let us say uh, i'll go from last okay i'll start from last if i want to find a xpath then as i explained earlier you can directly get a xpath from by using this fire path uh, what you can do is you can move to this and this is my xpath for this particular element so i can just use this xpath in my script that is driver dot find element by xpath and this expression and now i can play with this expression like what i want to do now right so this is how i can use a xpath right let us say i want to click on this right now let us say i want to use a tag name right so what i can do is what is tag name for this uh, Tosca tutorial it is li or a so right so the tag name can be used as li it is a list or a a is nothing but a link li is nothing but a list or I will take some other field so that you can find it in a better way 
okay so if, if I tag this field search then the tag name for this search field is input right so uh, let us say if my if this text field uh, that is this text field is only a text field on my uh, web page then I can use a driver dot find element by tag name and what is this input I can use like this and then I can use click or whatever operation you want to perform right this tag name will be used in more better way along with a list whenever you want to find all the input boxes or if you want to find all the links from the web page or you want to find all the uh, like what I can say all the um, web element by set which satisfies with the particular criteria then we can use this tag name right so this is how we can use a tag name then the next one is partial text okay so let us come to this Tosca tutorial box here again so it has a text <coughs> displayed on as is Tosca tutorial right so what I can do is if I know if I'm sure okay if, if the Tosca tutorial is written only once on this page then what I can do is I can use this thing that is partial link text right and how I can use this driver dot find element by partial link text and then I can enter a partial link text that is my link text for this is Tosca tutorial right this is my link text for this particular link so so it, it is saying partial right so partial is not nothing but not a full you may give it a full or you may enter only tosca toot or tosca tu or tosca t or tosca right or something like that uh, since it is saying a partial link text right so you, ca you can enter it partially or fully no matter then perform the operation on this page uh, on this web element right and the um, next way is by using a I'll, I'll take a link text first driver dot find element by link text and your link text is nothing but a full text right so so this observe these two things partial link text and link text link text is nothing but the full link text that is this full text which is displayed over here and partial link text is nothing but it par enter it partial <laughs> now so this was about partial link text and link text now coming to the name now uh, I don't have a name attribute here so let me find out something different I'll go for archive <laughs> okay so for this archive I have selected this archive drop down so here you can find it is a select tag and its name is its name is archive drop down right so if I want I can use this name how you can use that you can use it like driver dot find element by name and simply give the name and perform the operation make sure that this name is used uniquely otherwise the system will get confused and it will it will not perform any operations right so this is how you can use a name in the similar way we can use ID okay so for the similar web element we have an ID for this particular select tag it is archive drop down to so this is ID attribute of this field so how we can identify now driver dot find element by ID and this and then you can perform operation on this web element like this right so this is how we can identify ID and the last one is by using sorry last but one is CSS selector right so uh, so you can see this uh, uh, ID link text name partial link text and tag name all are directly available uh, available in your DOM structure 
right all are directly available like your id is directly available name is directly available then your what i can say this link text partial link text is directly available in your uh, dom structure tag name is directly available name available but this css selector and xpath is not directly available right css selector and xpath is not directly available so so you can get a xpath by using this add in fire path and you can find a css path you can find x uh, css path by using some syntaxes right like uh, for uh, so let us say for class if if you know the class then css for this particular web element will be hash class name uh, sorry it is for uh, id i guess hash id or if you want to use class then dot class name like that right so this is how you, you can find a css selector right so for more about the css selector how to find css selector so i'll cover it in my coming tutorials how to find css selector so you can use css selector in the similar way driver dot find element by css selector and then you can enter your css selector over here whichever whichever you have find it by using the tool set the rule set right so i'll cover this uh, tutorial how to find css selector in my coming tutorials and once you have um, find it this css selector you can click on it the last one is class name right so every uh, element should have a class name as per http standard so you can see for this tosca tutorial my class name is this right so if i know my class name is uniquely used for this particular element then what i can do is i can driver dot find element by class name and i can use the class name over here and then i can click like this right so these are the different ways to identify web elements sorry not identify web elements these are the different locator strategies how we can how we can find out uh, unique web elements uniquely in this various ways like xpath tag name partial link text link text name id css selector class name so most of the times like we will use this name id or this xpath or css selector and few times will is others as well right so that's it i have for this tutorial uh, here we talked about various locator strategies these are the locator strategies available in selenium and in my coming tutorial i will talk about i will talk about different ways to find customized xpath then difference between the relative absolute xpath about css selector and other things right so for more videos keep watching my blog test automated dot then or my uh, search search my search on youtube prakash nakade you will find out my youtube channel do visit subscribe thanks